Hey everybody, we are back with more Feature Boot Camp. This is week one of our brand new session that's going to take you from idea to finish draft in these eight weeks of class meetings. We meet for two hours every week for our live and interactive classes that you can join us for on Discord, or you can watch along on these free and public classes, which will usually be the first one in a series, will be one that is um, open to everybody and is going to be on things like YouTube or Twitch. So if you're watching on those, you're free to join us and interact with us and comment as well. We can also see the comments from those different sites. Um, but you should probably come join us on Discord, where you'll be able to join the chat room and speak over the microphone and get feedback on your ideas today. Because this is the day we're going to be going from taking that just rough or early version of your logline, which we started working on last week, if you were here last week, to the more refined version of that, hopefully finishing that by the end of today. So if you started brainstorming an idea for last week, then by now, we should probably start to be settling in and choosing between these multiple options to try to find the movie that you're going to be able to commit to and that you're going to get excited about and you're going to just be able to bring yourself back to just for eight weeks um so it doesn't have to be it shouldn't be something that's your um your masterpiece that you've wanted to write your entire life or something that you have to write to honor your family legacy or something like that we should be picking something that is fun and enjoyable and that we can pull off within the time frame of the course so if you had multiple ideas last week, we're going to try to start refining those down and picking what is the idea you're going to be committing to by the end of this class. So you're going to get some early feedback if you are ready to share your script idea. We're going to do that in about um, probably 30, 40 minutes. So I would open up your sketchbook if you made one of those last week and um, just be working on that throughout class. If you have not already made a sketchbook for your idea, let's just start with that before we do anything else. Um, I'm just going to uh, skip ahead a couple slides just so you can make sure to do this early. Um, you will go to Google Docs and you will make a brand new document and t title it Name of the Movie Sketchbook. Or if you don't have a name for the movie yet, you can just title it Feature Sketchbook. Or if you don't, if, even if you don't know it at all, at all what you're working on yet. So go ahead and just make that blank document and you're going to be working on that throughout class and writing down questions that you have or ideas that you have and maybe starting to word what the log line might be that, you know, that one sentence that expresses what is this story about? You're going to start working on that and getting ready to copy and getting that into a state where you can copy and paste that into our chat to get feedback on that later in the class so that by the end, hopefully you'll have me sort of sign off on your log line and give you the go ahead to, to move forward. You don't absolutely have to get my signing off on your log line if you really, really are attached to whatever you have and you want to move forward anyway. You can write whatever you want, but just if you want to get that feedback today, then you should be ready to share, even if it's in that early state or the early stages. So go ahead and make your new sketchbook if you've not already done this, or open your sketchbook if you have already made this, and you should just be working on this throughout class and filling in these blanks, especially these four main sort of cornerstones that every feature project is going to have. There we go. Over there, you have title, genre, logline, and comps. So you want to just write those words down at least, even if you don't know what those things might be yet. Title is going to be maybe just a placeholder title if you aren't sure yet. but or And you could just call it like Alien Movie if you want to, if you just have no idea what the title will be. Um, we then have Genre. We should be picking no more than two genres to mash up or combine, or else it will just start to seem like a bunch of nonsense. Um, so try to limit this to just the two primary genres here. And um, we should be a big fan of your genre and know what the expectations and what the tropes are and you shouldn't write in a genre that you have never read or never watched uh, or aren't a fan of usually um we have logline which is going to be that one sentence that expresses what is this movie about usually something like the format will be, the, the format will be something like you know when a, uh in an inciting incident an adjective protagonist must conflict or else stakes we'll go over that pretty soon but that's just like a quick reminder for you if you're wondering what the template kind of looks like in any case, you'll, you can just start writing down ideas for log lines or a couple different iterations or versions of the same log line if you're trying to just get it just right. Or maybe you have a couple different ideas for log lines of the movie that would be sort of different approaches to telling that story. So just write down whatever you've got. And then last, we have comps. Comps are going to be this movie meets that movie. So you might think of it in terms of maybe the world of this, but in the approach or style of that movie. And again, you don't want to pick more than two, ultimately. But you can make a list of a bunch if you are just trying to narrow this down and, and pick things that are going to create the right picture of the movie in, in people's minds. So those are the four things that you should put at the top and fill those out before anything else because those are the four things that you can share for that early feedback in just a little bit in class today. And um, if, you are, if you have questions about any of those things or are not sure how any of those things work, 
then today is a great time to ask. So I would start just jotting down on, on your sketchbook what your questions might be if you if you aren't sure how any of these things are supposed to look or <laughs> what we're supposed to do here. Okay, um, so uh, let's so let's all do that, and and then once everybody is ready there, then we're going to move on to just a bit of introduction. Maybe some folks weren't here for last week, so you aren't sure what this is, but Script Camp is a screenwriting community that's focused on taking you from your idea to a finished draft um, to a more polished script with lots of free classes, events, and workshops. Some classes are for our supporting members, um, such as the later classes in the boot camps. After this one, you will have to become a member to participate in weeks two through eight of the boot camp. So definitely go by scriptcamp.net slash membership and you can there sign up for your free trial uh, to get two weeks access to every single thing we do, over 100 hours of different events and classes per month on many more topics other than just screenwriting. We have a server focused on novel writing with a brand new novel writing boot camp that starts tomorrow as well. So by signing up for Unlimited with that free trial link here, or you can buy yearly to get 40% off you will be getting access to absolutely every event, workshop, and class that we do on all of our servers. Okay, um, what else? Uh, here's a couple of the other servers. We are a nonprofit called Skill Camp, bringing you free and low-cost classes to help learn the skills to reach your life goals. You can see many of our different servers here. Script Camp is our biggest and our first and our kind of main server. So by joining this one, by signing up for membership for Script Camp, that does sign you up for all of these other ones too. But we have camps that are focused on skills like filmmaking, home content creation, such as YouTube. We have cartoons, or Toon Camp is for animation. Word Camp is novels. And Design Camp for graphic design and Lingo Camp for learning languages, though we haven't had any classes in a couple of these yet. They're still growing, still adding to these communities. And last, we have Code Camp, which has had quite a few classes and meetings so far, and that is for learning programming languages, no matter what your skill level is to begin with. So. Stop by any of those Discord servers and you will see all the upcoming events. Um, I want to just show you a brief overview of everything coming up there. We have that new session of our TV pilot bootcamp starting March 5th. That's in just uh, in two weeks. New feature bootcamp starts right now, today. That's going to be running Fridays, 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific time for the next eight weeks. And then at that point, the TV and feature slots will switch. And feature will move to Sunday, and pilot will move to this time slot. Script analysis bootcamp will start in March. We'll have announcements about that soon. Fiction writing classes, that's going to be Saturdays 12 to 2 on WordCamp, starting with our bootcamp tomorrow. Animation lab, Tuesdays at 3. Digital art classes starting in April over on Toon Camp. And we have web development bootcamp starting in April as well. On the right here, you can see all the recurring events that we have per week, including genre groups like sci-fi, which is a recent group that we just added, Wednesdays at 5. We have Queer Writers Group, Women's Writers Group, Horror Workshop, Fantasy Group, um, and many other kind of specialized uh, communities that if you want to check out those weekly meetings and come by for events and activities, then every week you can do this all totally for free. We have some Sunday table reads, 2 o'clock. We have two different script swaps opportunity, or script swap opportunities every week where you will trade scripts with someone else and give them feedback, and they will give you feedback. So we have plenty of ways for you to get that feedback in between class sessions and just because there's not a class going on that day doesn't mean there's not lots of ways you can interact and continue growing and learning in your sort of writing journey in between these uh, these Discord meetings. Okay, so if you plan to sign up but have not yet done so, Nacho has left a poll in the chat. Nacho is our co-founder who runs many of the workshops and events around here. If you scroll up just a little bit in the chat, you'll see a series of blue numbers. You can click that number one if you intend to sign up but have not yet done so, and we can give you unlimited access to all of our chat channels, all the, the member exclusive areas of our Discord server, and that will just indicate that you plan to sign up for the bootcamp. So make sure to vote number one in that poll if you plan to do that. Um, so let's look at the schedule. Um, oh, I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Connor. Uh, I think you probably know me by now. I'm a feature TV and novelist, featureist, TVist, novelist? No, feature writer, TV writer, and novelist, um, who has been in LA since 2015 have been repped since 2017, have a thriller script set up in Hollywood right now, and have uh, taught the weekly boot camps and uh, the uh, writer's lab since the beginning of script camp a year and a half ago. Um, so here's the free classes coming up too. We have that pilot boot camp intro session March 5th at 11 a.m. That's going to be Sundays, 11 to 1 Pacific time. Best protagonist class, that's going to be Thursday, March 9th at 6 o'clock. 
and we have um, a another session of uh, wait, what am I looking at here? How, write a pilot in six weeks. Oh, okay. So that's the the week at the top on the top left here. We see the week zero, uh, the intro class for our pilot camp. Whereas the week one that's going to be starting March twelfth. And here's a couple of the word camp classes coming up on the right. We have a the intro for novel boot camp tomorrow at noon. Then we have uh, week one of the course, March 4th, query letter class, March 8th, and a, a novel outlining class, which is a brand new course or a brand new one-off um, that will be March 15th at six o'clock. It's like a whole workout just to announce all the upcoming stuff we have. So hopefully you can see we have plenty of ways to interact and get involved and to not just take these classes, but also just interact with the community